guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics, here on a free comic book day at my first stop. And we have a big line and a lot of people. And there's some kids. We got my son, the director. Got some kids. And a big giant line. All the way up to uh, Mayhem Comics in Ames, Iowa. And this will be the first stop. Definitely excited and having fun here. We got my kid who's playing on his phone, like like most of them do. <laughs> but we're awaiting the free comic books and what's inside. Maybe there's deals. We'll see. And we'll see you guys at the next store. <laughs> All right, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. We're here at the second of our free comic book day at my favorite comic book store, Rodman Comics. And there's a big line out there and we're about to get out and, and go stand in the line. You can see there is, got my son with me. <laughs> I'll try to zoom in so you can see. Rodman Comics if it would like to focus it doesn't want to but yeah there's Rodman Comics and there's a bunch of people all right I hope you guys are having as much fun as we are and we'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> at our third stop hey guys I'm back stop number three it's the second mayhem comic shop and it's the one that's in Clive Iowa and it's a really big one check it out it's giant shop and we're a little late it's probably a line here earlier but we're gonna go inside and see what kind of back issues they have and um, we'll catch you in the next segment where I should be showing you guys what all I picked up today all right we'll see you guys there hey guys all right we're back at the at the studio the set filming and we had a really big uh, first Saturday in May free comic book day uh, we got these really cool bags too that they came in it's free comic book day bags so i thought that was pretty cool and uh remember guys uh this this video qualifies to like comment and be subscribed to the channel for your chance to win the joker number one mark brooks variant cover and the cbca sticker which is the comic book community awards and that's really cool. It's kind of like the Oscars for comic book YouTube people like me. Um, and yeah, the voting's open right now, and later on they'll be giving out awards. <laughs> so let's dive right into this. Now, as always, you want to stick around like till later in the video, because I got a lot of cool stuff today. And we got this big giant stack here of free comic books. Um, and I'm not going to show off everything to you. There's just a couple that I thought were cool. There's this uh, Captain Underpants. Uh, dog man and cat kid. That's pretty cool, right? All right, let's set these Set these somewhere. We'll set them right there for now. They're okay um, Carriers, that's kind of cool. And I saw this I'd never seen this before uh, It says the Overstreet's guide to collecting comic books 2022. So I don't know. I'll check that out That was cool. Um, Spidey and his amazing friends if you guys have uh have Disney Plus. They got a bunch of shows on there for the kiddos. That one's cool. Uh, we got the Marvel Voices. And what's uh Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Stranger Things. I'm trying to go fast because there's like, uh, there was over 40 books this year. Equ Equilibrium. We got Red Sonia with this really cool kind of classic uh, homage to the Marvel trade dress. Uh, I don't know, bunny, bunny mask, tails, uh, primos. <laughs> um, not sure. Something cool. <laughs> Neverlanders, uh, barbaric, and some other stuff. All right. We got the, the regulars, obviously, or at least they said they were in here. Said they gave them to me. There's the two DCs. Yeah, so we got the Spider-Man Venom. And uh, I think there was a different, I guess it's the voices and the, the DC League of Super Pets. I had Dark Crisis in here somewhere too. 
I I don't know. There's so many free comic book days. Books. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into some of the cool books that I found that I got uh, when I was out there. So I stopped by a bunch of different stores. And I know this. I, I feel like this is comic related. So I wanted to show these. I picked these up. And I got them in a free comic book day bag. <laughs> I picked these up. And uh, we got a, so we got a pop figure. We got Cable. And I, I thought that was cool. So we could, we could set him up there for now. Cable can hang out up there. And we got another pop. We had we got Batman. And it's like the the movie the movie version, Batman. So that's cool. He can he can hang out up there for the show. So that was cool. We got Batman and Cable pop figures. Um, let's see. And obviously we did get some comic books. And like I said, I like to save the best for last, so I definitely would suggest you stick around. If you think this is the best stuff. Oh boy, you are in for you are in for it. <laughs> so uh, we got this really classic Jim Lee cover here, uh, just the X Men number seven, and it's really clean copy, um, classic Jim Lee cover, like I said. And so I I thought that was cool. And this one here, um, I'm not actually sure. I haven't looked it up yet to see if it's a first appearance of anybody. Um, just an older X-Men issue, and I thought it was kind of cool that they were selling it in a, uh, that, that you got a, you got a top loader with it, so I was like, that's cool, you get a top loader and a cool old comic book. Not too much, and, uh, let's leave that one there for a second. <laughs> Alright, um, so let's see, what else do we have here? Um, I got a X-Factor number 25, and this would be the issue after 24, which is the first appearance of Archangel and so that's 24 and this is 25 so you can see Apocalypse there on the cover Archangel and it's part of the Fall of the Mutant storyline which is uh, one of the things that yeah I just I like that Fall of the Mutants thing it takes me back to some comic books of my youth and I found this one number 26 and what I want to call like a super classic cover with Beast, Cyclops, Jean Grey and Iceman there on the cover, the classic X Factor team that that we all know and love, and that's so that's cool. None of those aren't really keys; they're just they're just older and in really good condition books. Uh, same thing with this one and classic covers. Like uh, so, there's like classic covers basically. Uh, I picked out this one too. Super classic cover says, "Come on, mess with us, make our day." And you got you know Colossus and Wolverine and Nightcrawler. And, and Storm there with her mohawk looking cool. So I thought that one was cool. And... Oh yeah, this is a super classic cover. It's uh, Uncanny X-Men 207. Uh, just, just another classic cover. Wolverine's um, kind of chopping the, the thing there. I think this one's next. Yeah. I was really stoked to find this one. Oh, I mean, you do not see this one at that often. It's uh, Uncanny X-Men 205. With that super classic uh, Weapon X cover, oh man, guys, that is awesome. It, that one's that copy. I think that's a little faded. I, I believe it could pop a little more than that, but I was just happy to find to find that issue. I, I never owned it. Um, and then if you saw the other day, I got X Factor too. So I'm kind of kind of collecting like a like a low run of X Factor if I can find them in in good condition. And so I found this one. It's it's uh, X Factor number four. Again, not a key, just a just a really nice conditioned old comic book that that may, makes me smile. <laughs> um, and then, so we're gonna start into the keys here. So that I found found a bunch of cool keys, and um, before we get to these keys, these are all Bronze Age keys, and I plan to send them off in my Bronze Age submission with the Wolverine books and the Moon Knight you saw. Um, but then, but first, I wanted to show this uh, Bronze Age slab that I picked up today, <laughs> which is uh, New Mutants number nine in a nine point six, and it's the first appearance of Celine, and she is the Black Queen. If you guys didn't know who that was, so she's a bad guy. So it's not like you know giant spec potential, but. I got a really reasonable price on it, and it's not 
you know, it's not too often you find a, a, a comic book from 1983 in that, in that good a condition. I just really like the cover. You got Cannonball and Sunspot and it's just a classic New Mutants team. Um, so I, I, had, I had to get that. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get into these here. So these are super cool. And um, just, yeah, man, I'm, I'm super stoked about them. So this one here is from 1973, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of like little. You guys know me. I will give some spec advice, but I do want to let you know that this is like do your own research and don't always believe everything you hear me say or other YouTubers or anything like that. Um, it's just my personal opinion. I think this is a good key to spec on for the price that I got it at and just a really old clean copy of, of a 1978 comic book and so we have the Micronauts number one and that is the first appearance of a bunch of characters all these people you see on the front cover and um, yeah 1978 comic book and that's just that was too cool to pass it up. I definitely want to get that in a slab just for myself too because I think it's cool. And Micronauts was a really old classic run that uh, I don't think gets its its due dessert. And and you never know like what you never know what Marvel's going to do. So hey, for the low buy-in price that I got it at, I I'm happy to keep it in the collection if it never does anything, that's fine, but maybe it'll be something that'll help my kids live better lives when I'm off this earth, right? <laughs> Um, so then we had this other key that I found, and this is the first appearance of Magic. And all, all three of these last ones here that, that I got today, I believe they're underrated keys, and that's why I got them. So, I mean, like I said, you know, don't, you know, do your own research. But, uh, I definitely think that, that both the Micronauts number one and this first appearance of Magic are, are harshly underpriced in the market right now um magic is a really cool x-men character that's been showing up a lot in the current runs and she's a character that i could definitely see being used or possibly um being introduced in a doctor strange universe you, you you don't know magic's magic's a pretty cool character um and then there's this this last one here and it's another one that I just, I don't even understand why the price is what the price is on this book. Um, you would think it would be so much, so much, worth so much more, in, in my humble opinion. And so I, I picked it up because that's, I, I just think, I think people are off on this book and, and they don't see the true value in it. But we have, uh, and it's, it's my, obviously my, my favorite gift from Free Comic Book Day. It's a uh, Marvel Spotlight on Star Lord, uh, Marvel Spotlight number six, and it is the first appearance of Star Lord in comics. Now he does; it's argued because he does have. There's another comic book. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I'm sorry. There's another comic book, not comic book. There's a magazine that he premiered in first, and so it's a a magazine sized comic. And so, yeah, but I don't know my personal opinion. It's not a comic if it's not comic sized. And so this to me is his first comic appearance and not just because I own the book. I mean, I bought the book and that was already my, my personal thoughts on the book. And also additionally, if you look at both covers, this is like the way better cover of the two. And I think it's in very good condition. First appearance of Star-Lord, a character. I will be very honest with, I did not know a whole lot about um, before the MCU. But um, I definitely am a fan now. And like, yeah, I would like to own the first appearance of Star-Lord. I'm surprised more people don't. And it's not worth a little bit more. So those are three books I kind of think are, are maybe maybe a little bit low on the spec radar. You got the first appearance of Star-Lord, uh, Marvel Spotlight number six. Uh, New Mutants number 14, the first appearance of Magic, and the Micronauts number one, the first appearance of all kinds of co cool characters that 
that you never knew, but it you never know, but it, it is rife for movie adaption is is uh, all I will say on that. <laughs> and then obviously I picked up a bunch of cool stuff that I just thought was cool, and this new mutant slab that I thought was cool because it's cool and nothing spec on it. I just I just I liked it. First appearance of some somebody bad guy. So uh, if if you know your X Men lore too, like she plays her part in the in in the Hellfire club and and so she's she's kind of a main bad guy anyways <laughs> all right man so that's what we have today remember like comment subscribe for your chance to win the joker number one mark brooks variant and if you guys do like this kind of content hey click the link below and shop on my ebay store and i'll send you some comic books all right we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video and i hope everybody had a really great free comic book day i know i had a blast me and my son went out and it was real fun and i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed the video. <laughs> All right, we'll see we'll see you next time.